Well, it seems like we're reaching the conclusion of the Cody Co story. I honestly did not expect to see this, but we have a statement from TMG Studios, which is, of course, Cody and Noel Miller's company, Tiny Me Gang. And they have put out a statement basically saying that Cody is no longer going to be involved with any of their operations. Of course, if you are completely unaware somehow, this is due to Cody having an allegation pushed against him by Tana Manjo, where she alleged that Cody got with her when she was 17 years old and Cody was 25. Of course, this also happening in the state of Florida where the age of consent is 18, making this technically, legally, statutory R. Well, they put out a statement on what looks to be their official website. I got this off the Cody Co subreddit and it says TMG Studios, this morning we shared the note below with the employees of TMG Studios and we wanted to share it with you as well. Our shows will resume in the coming weeks. Thank you for your support. Hi everyone, we wanted to start by thanking all of you for your patience while we are working to figure out the best path forward for the studio. We know it's been a very strenuous few weeks for everyone and we really appreciate your willingness to bear with us. You're the most creative and incredible group of people. We feel so lucky to work with all of you. TMG Studio is what it is because of you. We couldn't be more proud of the incredible roster of talents we've been privileged to work with and everything that we have accomplished together. As we enter into this next phase of the studio, we wanted to let you know that Cody will not be involved in the day-to-day -day operations at TMG Studios. What has transpired over the past few weeks is a personal issue for him, and Cody wants to remove any effect this is having on your professional and personal lives and the work you and our other hosts have done to make TMG Studios so successful. Noel will continue to lead the team. His top priority remains the life and growth of the studio and its talent. Our audience sees your hard work every week, and we want that to continue. They deserve it, and so do you. We have built something truly special, and he's committed to keeping that alive and well. Sincerely, Cody and Noel. And also that saving we just read, they did put it on their official website, but according to Kristen Ark, they also sent this out to everyone who follows the podcast. So here he got an email himself. He followed the podcast. So the email went out to everybody, not just hidden on their website. So this is actually written specifically by Cody. It says here at the end. So the only statement that we have from Cody himself now, he hasn't put out a video yet. He hasn't put out a post just specifically from himself. He wrote a dual post that was sent to his employees and now has been posted on the website where all he's says that this is a personal issue for him. And so, of course, the Reddit is obviously not taking this well. I mean, clearly, this is kind of like a mid-response. It's just not really that great. He doesn't address the issues. He doesn't apologize. It's just, this was a personal thing for me. He doesn't make it clear. Like, he doesn't give his side of the story. He doesn't try to exonerate himself. I mean, nothing at all. It's just, this is a personal issue for me, so I'm leaving. And yeah, you have people on the Reddit saying, there was someone in here a while ago that was like, yeah, Cody is just going to stop posting everywhere and just live off his assets. I fear they were right. And then someone's saying, why do you fear that? Because he's not stepping down or owning up he is simply trying to pretend like he's not still involved while profiting by supporting tmg you still support cody unfortunately and i mean unless cody is actually not profiting off this or not you know still making money off of tmg studios that's not wrong i mean technically that is true people who watch tmg people who support tmg donate cody probably still gets a cut from that i don't know how the payout works but I mean, if he's the owner of the company, then yeah, I mean, he is still going to be getting money. He will still get support. I don't know for sure. I mean, all that they say here in the statement is we wanted to let you know that Cody will not be involved in the day-to-day -day operations at TMG Studios, but it doesn't necessarily say that he's stepping down or that he is not involved in the company at all, or that he is, you know, not profiting off of it, just kind of taking a step back and just sitting back and coasting off of your revenue and your assets. It's completely possible for Cody. I don't really see him being able to come back, at least right now. I mean, just look, for example, at his social blade. I opened up a social blade and since the 14th of this month, he has lost at least 10,000 subscribers every single day. He was at 6.2 million just the other week and now it has gone down to 5.98 million. So 20K, 40K, 30K, I mean, it's just, it's just over. So I don't know if he'll be able to come back from this. And the stories involving the girl, I mean, frankly, it's just, it's extremely just inappropriate. Like, okay, let me just be honest, right? Like maybe this is a bit of a hot take, but there's some scenarios specifically involving Cody that maybe it's like he would have a path to redemption right I wouldn't say that it's just like okay or what he did was fine but if it was like a state where the age of consent was 17 and she was as close as she was to 18 and maybe he either didn't know or he wasn't warned ahead of time you know these kind of examples
examples, that would be something where it's like, okay, I mean, you're still in the wrong, obviously, but you have a path to where it's like, you can redeem yourself. I don't think it's completely irredeemable. But the way that he's acted about this and the way that he acted about Gabby Hanna and the way that he did it in a state where the age of consent isn't even 17. I mean, he couldn't even do the bare minimum. And if you're going to have sex with someone who's under 18, do it in a state where it's legal. I mean, you couldn't even do that. You had that little self-control and that much perversion towards this girl that you just had to do it in a state where it would literally be our like, what the fuck even is this? His mindset obviously shows that he is perverted. He is going at this with a perverted mindset. He is taking advantage of her. That is what shows me that it is completely and totally wrong. Again, I'm not defending if there is some other scenario. I'm not saying that that makes it okay, but there would be other cases where I could look at this objectively and just kind of be like, okay, it's, a you know, there's ways that this can be a mistake or there's ways that this can be wrong. But this isn't one of those cases. I really don't see it like that. As the allegations stand right now, I do not see it like that. If Cody comes out and gives some new information that maybe somehow turns it, I mean, I'll obviously be open to that. But as it is right now, especially based on that statement we just saw earlier, I mean, come on now, there's no, there's no possible way. Regardless, though, back to the statement, it is interesting that Noel is also doing this with him, of course. I mean, they own the studio together. But what is interesting about it is that there's a whole bunch of clips that people have dug up of Cody and Noel on podcasts together. And it just always has Noel like bringing up situations of people getting with people when they're young. Like here's one, for example. Let me just show you guys. Man, that shit made me want to vomit. Which? R. Kelly being 31 and like charming up 17 year old girls. And like the music producer like took the words out of my mouth. He, he, he's like, you can just tell when someone's, you just know it. It doesn't matter how much makeup they have. Like you just know it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. you do. Like there's a, there's an innocence about being 17. That's fucking creepy. And like there's, there's so many clips of this happening apparently on this podcast. I've, I haven't like done the research for all of them, but this one I pulled up in two seconds. I mean, there's just, there's so many examples that Noel will like make random comments about like 17. I mean, can you imagine doing something that horrible and that disgusting to a 17 year old girl, right, Cody? And Cody just always looks so uncomfortable. Of course, there's also the other allegation that came out against Cody. This one by the user Nefarious Flacky 20. And this was just a, about a week and a half ago where they posted he dated a high schooler saying, I've religiously watched Cody since Vine and I have a vivid memory of him dating a high schooler. Him and his frat friend group would hang out with a bunch of teen girls and they'd sometimes appear in his videos. There was one girl he'd be with and his Vines, which people speculated he was dating at the time. I remember looking into it and was surprised to see she was like 17 and he was in his mid-20s. He still follows the high schoolers on IG and they're in his old YouTube vlogs. I feel like I'm the only one that remembers. And unfortunately, I probably can't show these because recently YouTube has just been extremely strict about even just talking about anyone underage or showing anything at all but the reddit post then has an edit where the first one is a video just like a short five second video where cody is kissing the girl just on the head and just like teasing with her obviously something intimate and then the second thing that they attach is a photograph where they are at some sort of concert at some sort of rave and the girl is sitting on cody's shoulders so of course i mean yeah this is completely inappropriate these are just allegations just to be clear but the person is alleging that this girl was 17 at the time and obviously cody would have been like 24 25 something around that age i mean come on especially because if this is like a multiple thing that happened like again as i said earlier i was like maybe something that could be forgiven like a one-time thing again she was extremely close to 18 if it's uh, if it's the age of consent there's a lot of places where the age of consent 17 in the United States. I could maybe be like, look, I mean, it's a slip up, but don't, I, my eyes on you. Like I'm, lo I'm watching you, but this is just, I mean, there's no excusing this. This is just ridiculous. He's obviously predatory towards these girls. He's obviously going after them explicitly because they're 17. He's lusting after them, hooking up with them. I mean, the guy is a pervert. It's just plain and clear. And he even is allegedly, according to Tana, an R wordist. I mean, there's just no excuse, right? I mean, I guess it's good that he's not going to be involved with TMG Studios anymore. I don't really think that he should be around that. Regardless of your personal opinions on if you think it's okay or not, I mean, I obviously disavow what he did. I've said this before. I find it perverted and I kind of find it wrong. If you know the state you're in that what you're going to do is committing statutory R, you probably should fucking control yourself. You And especially because he was warned ahead of time by Gabby Hanna, allegedly, according to Gabby and Tana. He was warned ahead of time and he still went with it. It's like, come on, man. Like, what are you even doing here? This is just get control of yourself on top of the fact that you just shouldn't really be doing that regardless i mean even if it wasn't statutory r it's just i just disagree i think it shows his mindset and i think it's just inappropriate extremely extremely inappropriate but anyway that's all i really gotta say about this so see you guys tomorrow peace